hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about getting your own free course set up on Click eCourse platform how do you set up a course that you can give away you can use that to capture leads you can use that to get people to to know you you can you offer them something free in exchange for an ebook you can do uh, capture pages you can do all these different things to get people um to to get people on your list to get people to start to know you right because you know that it's all about the no like trust factor so we're going to talk about the, the platform we're going to talk about the basics a little bit we're going to really quick quickly go over creating your account registering all that is free and then we're going to show you how to create a course on the platform using videos you already have on YouTube for example and um and and setting up the title and the topic and the summary and how how to add lessons and we're going to go over that and if you have a free course that you you've been giving away people and you've been linking to say Facebook or YouTube videos and you're like well I'm not even sure how many people are seeing my stuff I haven't been able to to m measure anything I don't even have their emails I what if what if Facebook blocks me what if YouTube disconnects me all these things so you're going to be able to do that with the, the platform so you can have your own home for your course and we'll show you that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you're wanting to host your own course you got a course that you're giving away to people and it's it, it it you know maybe you're you've got links to YouTube and you're just sending them at an email or maybe you're just telling them go to this blog page and you got the videos there and you know that's all great but there's no metrics you you're not capturing anything you're not they don't know they can't they can't um keep track of where they're at let's say you've got I don't know five videos well they can't even keep track of which video they've seen which one they haven't seen if it's just a regular link or it's a regular blog page right so how do you get um, a course in the platform that's to totally free I mean it's a free course why would you pay to host it right so you can do that with Click eCourse we're going to show you that in just a second so let's just go to the site I'm just going to show you share my screen here and we're actually going to go to the site uh, new window all right so let me just share my screen over here all right so you're gonna go to this link here let's put the link up uh the click ecourse link you're gonna go to click ecourse whoops that's not the right thing where is it there we go you're gonna go to click ecourse.com so you just type that in your browser click ecourse.com and you're gonna register an account right now I've got a, I'm gonna I'm logged in I'm just gonna log out all right so when you first go to the site you're going to see this you're going to see welcome to Click eCourse right uh, let's move that all right let's move that you know having trouble with my mouse here let's just make this a little bit smaller just so you don't click eCourse.com right okay so you're going to see this you're going to see this uh, page talks about what the site is um depending on when you see this this might have changed but the basics is you see this and at the top of the page whoops at the top of the page you're going to see a register and a login button now if you're seeing this on your phone uh let me see can I how can I show you what it looks like on the phone I, I think I can do this like this and then I can change it to mobile so if you are on your phone you're going to see something similar to this where you're going to have let me just make sure I can see that or you can see that yeah so you're going to see something like this you're going to have a menu there and you're going to be able to go into register or log in right here or like I said if you're on the desktop if you are on the desktop you're going to see the menu like this right so you're going to see the menu so all you got to do is you click on the register right here you enter your uh, email address whatever your email is you put in a password and you click on the register button if you um if you already have your account you'll be able to log in but what will happen is you'll get an email and you'll have an activation link you just click on that and then it'll take you into the to your account I'm just going to log in right now and 
oh I've changed my password I forget what my password is uh let me see I'm just going to use some some test account anyways whoops let's use a test account let's use this one all right so now you're logged into your account and what you do is you go to courses right up top here you can see courses let me just make sure you can see the screen here right up top here you're going to see courses let's actually make this uh, so that it fits the screen here I just want to make sure that we have the whole thing on the screen there we go all right just going to make sure this fits on the screen there we go okay so now we have the whole thing fitting on the screen all right so you see the whole screen so now okay so now when you're on the account you've got your account all you got to do is you click on the courses tab up top there and then you just create a new course so you're going to create a new course you give it the name you want uh let's say it's a free a free training on um healthy eating right so healthy eating eating healthy eating okay so and then in their summary you're going to say uh, something short like learn how to keep track of oops keep track of your eating eat, eating habits and and be healthier anyways whatever and then in the details you can add a whole bunch of stuff you can make it this is this is where there is lots of details you can put in right oops details details now this editor might change over time we're going to improve it but right now you can actually use this you can go like this and make this bold if you want underline italic strike through you can set the, the font color um the font color I'm gonna make it like this right and you can make the background color something else right you can do all this in here you can center it you can make the text oops let's do that actually you gotta do this I'm not sure what's going on here but you can depending on your on the paragraph anyways whatever it's an editor an html editor right so that's the 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 summary so now you've got the seo the hash so in the seo you would want to put in because this is going to show up in the actual page anyways that's advanced stuff let's not worry about it okay header code categories cover image so the cover image is going to be a picture of let's just say we want to use a picture let's go to uh, healthy eating eating habits and I'm just going to go into images I'm going to make sure it's an image that is uh, usage rights is labeled for use and then I'm just going to take one of these pictures I don't know let's uh, take uh, this picture here and I'm going to take this picture I'm going to save image as I'm going to put it in my downloads and then I'm going to go back here I'm going to use that image as my cover file I'm going to go into my downloads over here my downloads this image here open I'm just going to say next and just to show you kind of how that kind of how that works um after you after that you can go back and you'll see that the image is there now right as the cover image so now in your case this is a free course we're talking about a free course you put zero in here there's no sense in the commission doesn't matter uh but that's it and then under download you can choose and this is depending on whether you have the on the free account I don't I don't I forget which things are supported but uh you might not have it on the free account but it may basically means are you going to allow your people to download the mp3 like let's say you want them to uh to just listen to your courses your videos you want them to just listen to the audio of your videos on their phone while they're driving or whatever you can have them so that they can do that same thing with videos you can allow them to download the videos instead of only allowing them to watch it through the course embedded player that means use the embedded player of say YouTube or Facebook or Vimeo 
you might uh depending on what your um uh you know whether whether your your so you can either have the platform download the video and have it locally or uh, embed it anyways whatever that's on the free account you don't have a choice the the only option is embedded videos and then under access is just while you're getting the course ready uh you you just have it new course still not ready right you can also make this an unlisted course which means that it won't show up on the on the main page I'll show you what that mean by that in a second but um you can give people the link and then they can add it to their their uh, library okay and then under sites is depending on the list of sites that exist if it's a free course you probably want it on all the sites you just select all the sites here and then you can click done all right so now we have our healthy eating course there's no lessons there's nothing in it but we have the healthy eating course it's it's created uh it's um and you have to add a lesson so how do you add lessons let's just go to my uh, YouTube and let's say you have I'm actually gonna just for the fun of it healthy eating habits I'm just gonna search for that whoops I got it <coughs> healthy eating habits okay so I'm just gonna look for these beginner's guide to healthy eating obviously you shouldn't do that I'm not gonna I don't I'm not saying to do that you should have your own videos but let's just say that you had these are your videos right you got different you got you separated your course into like four or five videos you know an introduction who you are what you're what they're going to learn um you know getting ready uh your step number two your step number three and your step number four and then your conclusion or something right you basically split it up into something that makes sense for your topic and then you're just going to have a bunch of videos and I'm just going to take this video here I'm going to copy the link and I'm actually going to just add this to here I'll just go plus on the lessons down the bottom there and I'm going to paste the URL right here I'm just going to do that the rest you, you can fill the rest in but right now let's just put the URL right down here right and then you just save and what that'll do is it goes and adds that particular video to the to the course and it's going to have the same text that's in the all the text is going to be the same if I go back to the course now we have a video that's right here right now it's still downloading the uh, the thumbnail but uh, after it's downloaded you'll see it here I can I can click on this uh, edit to see it's still downloading the thumbnail so we'll uh, we'll just do a cancel we'll just add another one let's just let's just add a new lesson we'll click on add new lesson right here we're going to go find another video let's say doesn't really matter I'm going to add this one the same thing I'll just put the link right here save it and let's add a third one it doesn't really matter like I said that's eight minute copy link back to here add new lesson I'm going to paste that right here whoops no in the url and that's it you just put the url the youtube url you can put a facebook url there for a public video it can't be a video that you haven't made public it's it can't be like in a group or on your page it's got to be a public video uh and it can be a vimeo video same thing it has to be public right or you have to have the link for it right so now if we go back to list we see we have these three they're still downloading the headers you can also uh, change the header if you want but let's just uh, make these a public so you click on the little edit icon right here you make this uh instead of draft you change this to published and you just go down here and save it and go back to the list now you see this one is published so let's just do the same on the, the three of them and make sure they're published back to the list the third one now you can obviously make them publish especially when you're starting out and the course is not even public yet you can certainly make all the vid all the lessons published right away uh, you don't have to go back to the list like I'm doing here but they're all here now so I'm not really sure what happened to these let me just uh let me just uh I'm gonna just replace uh, the ones that uh, look like I don't know there's a maybe a problem maybe the type of uh, image is wrong or something I'm going to actually I'm going to delete this one 
let's just delete this one I'll delete this one yes I'll delete it and I'll delete this one too and I'm going to create a new one which has maybe uh, maybe I'm not sure maybe I have to look that up but maybe there's something wrong with the the the, the that particular video the the because normally the thumbnail shows up pretty quick uh, let's see I'm gonna add another one I just want to add at least two or three of them so that you can see what uh, it looks like afterwards all right oh I forgot to make them public right I don't know what's going on with this uh, download maybe I mm, I don't know I'm not I it seems like there's always a little something going on right but let's see teaching kids it's published right away put the URL down here I'm just going to add another one here until we find one that doesn't have until we find one that doesn't have the problem with the video there's no sense in me looking into that right now obviously so I'll just uh, do that okay let's delete this one too now the other thing you can do too by the way is uh he's downloading the video still no video file I wonder if that's why it's having trouble I'll have to ch check it out um the other thing you can do too is that if you're uploading let's say I'm, I'm uploading a file from my computer you can do that too right you can choose a file um let's go into my one of these videos well these are too long videos let's oh maybe there's the two this is the one here 29 megs uh there must be a short video I can use someplace maybe in one of the older episodes my older episodes were short oh that's still 374 megs maybe well, yeah those are too big I don't want to I don't want to upload something that's super big like that I did put create some Facebook ads mm -hmm. Um, I'm just looking to see if I can find a short video did I not have a well, I got so much stuff right I had some um Well, let's just put this video it's a small video it doesn't really matter I'm going to save this just like that basically it, then it uploads the video right as you can see right there it's showing you the the, the speed at which it's going I got a slow internet here so uh, but it's but at least you can see it uploading right you can cancel the upload if you want uh, but uh, let's just let it finish and the difference between uploading a video which by the way you unfortunately you can't do with free account you can only specify links <coughs> to YouTube or that kind of stuff but um once the video is downloaded from YouTube and in the in the platform you can do the same thing as whenever you're uploading like this right so this upload process is available at the first paid the, the lowest cost uh, account you can upload your own videos you don't have to put them but you know if, if even if with a free account you can always upload the video to YouTube as an unlisted video and then you can use that link in the in the account to 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 do that right 
but if you go back to the the, the list here we see now we have this one let's just edit this make this published and as you can see this one doesn't have any any text because it didn't have it in it wasn't from YouTube right so it doesn't know what to call it but one thing you can do is if I go here I say this 10 I want to have 10 thumbnails now I can see different thumbnails I can choose one of these thumbnails as the thumbnail for the video I'm going to choose this one I save it as a published and I'm going to save it and now if I go back to the list now I have these three videos you can do the same thing here look if I go to this one I can actually generate thumbnails if I want whoops I gotta I think I have to put a number there oh fail to generate hmm, not sure what's going on there maybe it's when it's downloaded that's not an option I'll, I'll this seems to be always a little something but anyways it doesn't matter so now if I go back to cancel here and I go back to the list here's the three uh, lessons in the course I could of course have this I could call this introduction let's call this introduction introduction right and I save it I'll go back to the list now we have this we have the introduction and then we have new lesson down there okay so now if I click on the course link it takes me to the actual course this is what somebody will see when they go to the course page and uh, not well not all of this you can't see all this if I make this uh is this a if I click on the edit course right here it takes me back to this list of things I can go in here access I will make this an unlisted so now if I take this link up here and I open a new incognito window paste it in here now somebody can access this course so if the person comes to this they can click on the unlock course right here and they need to create an account so they have to log in or register free account before you can add it to their li library so they're going to have to register or uh, log in depending on their account then they can add it so let's just say I'm going to log in here and I'm going to use some other uh, test account let's say my test 19 and now I'm logged in and I can reload this page and now it's added to the to my course so now if I go I can start the course right now I click on it and it starts playing the course <laughs> to the end of it and just actually watch the video lesson there it is lesson which is the next video right here. And, uh, so that's and that's the that's that's how you create a free course on the platform so it's that simple now once you once you have uh people getting on your course uh, let's just close this here um let's just go back to the other link now if you see right here it says there's one student that's because one person added the course to their to their um to their uh library right so this person just got it it also shows right here how long the course is if I reload the page uh you would see how many views how many lesson views anyways all this stuff gets updated based on your for your information right and if somebody's on the course they see uh, if I go back to the course on the course they see some of the details of the course right how many seconds in the course if there's any quizzes any files any lessons any modules right and also watch seconds which is the number of seconds ha that have been watched in the course yet um, and those are the metrics now once uh, we implement um, student uh, information you're going to be able to click on this student here you're going to be able to see a list of the students who they are and whether they've decided to uh, publicly allow you to see their information or not you're going to be able to send emails to your students you're going to be able to um, add them to your aweber list things like that right so all that's coming uh, but for now you can create your course and you can give away the course so you can just give them this link right here and you can just say hey go to this link and then they'll have access to the course now the cool thing about it is when they have the course and they started so you know how we were watching right we had watched this we had watched the beginning of this video a little bit of this one 
if I go to my tablet say uh, now I'm on my tablet right now I'm on my tablet let's make this even a well actually let's make this a smaller tablet there so now you gotta you're on you're on your phone right you're on your phone and you have this course on here and now you're what you want to watch you want to know where you were you just say resume and it'll start playing the on the lesson you were on which is the lesson number two right we were on lesson number well it says six here I gotta fix that yeah oh that's oh yeah let's fix that so you know how we deleted courses we deleted lessons I mean if I go back to the lesson list um the lessons right here I click on lessons you can see that this is lesson two this lesson six so I can actually edit this I'm going to edit this I'm going to make this lesson one because it really is lesson one because otherwise it's confusing right uh back to the list I want to make this lesson two and I go back to the list and I want to make this lesson three so I'm just going to edit that lesson number three whoops three all right so now we have the lessons if I go back to the course it does show lesson number one lesson two lesson three so now if the person who's watching the course goes back instead of saying number six it'll say number two right lesson number two so I play lesson number two okay sound off so I'm playing this I'm playing this I'm on you know later on through the through the video and I pause it and I you know I leave my phone uh, aside I go back to my tab to my computer at home let's go back to my computer and then I just reload the page and it goes to that course what do you think it means to be healthy lots of different so it'll go to where you were instead of showing you this again which it did right now that's because I wasn't uh, actually if I go in courses and I go to view your courses this is the course I have that I added to my library right this you know how we did this text with this weird colors go to this course and now it's this is the course if I say resume it starts where I left off and yeah so that's basically it the other thing I wanted to show you is that once you have a course that you created if somebody visits the site if they go to click eCourse and they just go to the site and then they click on courses they're going to see through here they're going to see they're not well actually they're not going to see your course that's the difference between making it a public a public course or not if I'm here as you can see that course is not in there if I go and I go back to my courses here and I take this course that I just created here edit this course and I go here I say access I want to change that to make it public so by the way when you make it public it won't let you undo that it won't let you change it back to non-public right and the reason for that is because we don't want people to be creating courses and um, then making them unpublic afterwards or something right we don't want you to create a course and then hide it but maybe maybe this is a feature we're going to update but for now that's kind of how it works so I click on this and I say done and the other thing that happens so now if I go back to courses here actually let's go to courses in in an incognito window uh, open a new incognito if I go to courses now now you can see that that course is there now healthy eating is right here right and if I go to the feed that's the other thing I wanted to show you if I if you publish a new course it shows up in the public feed right here it says that Bobby published a, a new course right so it shows up in the feed so people when they're navigating the feed they can see the different that comments were added they can see that videos were added they can see that um they can see that people change their profile picture and you can actually have other comments like this for example where where I posted that WordPress was was out or course coupon and deals were done so this is basically a, a a news feed item that I'm just posting and that shows up in the news feed as well right and those are that's kind of what the that's kind of how it works so 
yeah so that's how you create a free course on the hosting platform for free in another episode we're going to talk about creating a paid course and getting your commissions on those courses and how you can leverage the platform to sell your courses and have others promoted for you too as well if you want all right so we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.